I might just get one of those and take it home to my wife and see what her reaction is. As you can see behind me, this is our job we're doing today. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. Smash that thumbs up button in advance. White snow, red sky, reach up for so, so high. Blue eyes, fake cry, beware of the fox tonight. All right, we're going to be here putting in a Fujitsu mini split. There's going to be a 12 going here. And we're going to be putting a 9,000 BTU here and another nine right here. And there's just so much tape on these. Level. Who's here? And um, Mark. Doug right there. Alright. I'm using these anchors. You just screw them in the wall with a regular Phillips bit. And uh, this will hold up to 75 pounds, I believe. So here we're going to do a 2 and 9 16 hole uh, and you got your marks. You basically just line up where these marks are and that's your pilot, that's your center hole. Then we'll drill on a slight angle downwards for the drain and all that stuff. Stud. <laughs> There's a stud right there in the edge. Oh man, I got lucky. I can work with that. I feel like I'm going to get ready to go through. I'm going to re go in reverse so I don't take a chance on messing up that siding. There it is. We got lucked out. I've done that before where I've actually mismeasured and there was a stud right in the center before and that's no fun. So we're gonna run our sleeve through and then we'll get everything stubbed out and get the wire prod in and I'll show you how to do that. This is gonna be my ground. and tight. Uh. 
Okay, and I did color coat these, or color combination all these, black to black, white to white, and red to red. Doesn't really matter, but that's the way I do it, and then they're ground. Now I'll get this thing mounted. All right, just like that, we'll wipe the unit down. But yeah, we're done in here. Just gotta pick up our mess and uh, we'll be good to go. Here's our hole, way up there. So basically we're gonna come down and then over these windows, or under these windows and around. 36 foot ladder, that's a long one. So I'm working on this, getting this piece off and having to look over. Look at that tarantula. And it's just sitting in this dude's bedroom. That is messed up. I'll have to send this to my wife because she does not like spiders. Yep, so getting ready to getting ready to take all this blue tape off, get everything mounted and getting ready to mount mount this one up here. Yeah, and then we'll just run along the side of that other gas line and just rest it on that other uh, downspout up there. Hanging out on a limb, aren't you, Corley? Yeah. That'll work. Butamus. Spin. Not what you want. That's exactly what I'm looking for. mount these in here come out here oh man this is so much easier on this side it's 
coming together. All right, we're on day two. It's uh, about 10 after nine. We got uh, this all ran yesterday. This was a struggle. The mystery man Corey was up there doing his thing all day. And then we got a basically up here. We had a sneak, we had to pull this down, sneak the line set around. We're gonna have to make a piece extend there because that was just fun. And so here we're gonna work on bringing this over and then down. And then this one obviously will come straight down and this one here. Okay, so that is pitching down? No. No? What I'm saying is the pitch isn't gonna matter there because by the time it makes the drop, you know what I mean? You're, you're, you got like a three foot drop there. Right. You know, it'll just be like a, it'll trap itself, but it. Um, yeah, we can do that just as long. What length is that? Uh, 12 feet? With the elbows, it's probably like, yeah, about 12 foot. Probably really should run three quarter inch PVC. But I, as long as that's down on the bottom, we should be fine. Because just as long as I have access down here to hook up a vacuum to pull everything out when I do preventative maintenance on these. So, this unit... This is a this is a three ton. Has four zones. Slide this out. Four zones, but we're only hooking up two or three. And uh, yeah, this is a alu 36 rlx fls fzx or h this is a extra low temp heat pump and i mounted this lower yesterday so i ended up raising this up and i'm pretty sure i grabbed a stud each one uh, and then the brackets go down and this thing weighs like 250 pounds we'll mount that right here Finn's walking the rail. It's looking good, Finn. I got a shake for you. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. This guy has been a godsend for a minute, man. He's helped us out on a few jobs, and like I said, he's worked with me in the past, and uh, he's back part time, kind of helping us out. The Schwinnmeister. <laughs> Watch me take a ride here, right when you say that. <laughs> That'd be some good content, but don't say that. <laughs> All right, looks good. Next step is we got to move the unit up on there, so that should be a great time. You, know, you got it, Tyler. Be, this is going to be the trick. So I think. I mean, obviously, we got to go straight up because that coil's right there. Mm -hmm. right? Well, Tyler's got the handles, so. <laughs> just hold on a not second. In, not firm for this side, though. Well, just be careful. Don't right. drop it. Three, two, one. Easy. Easy. Lift it, Tyler. You got it? You got it, Tyler? No, I'm struggling. Hold on. You got to go down? Let's just go down. Go down. Go down. Careful. Easy. Watch, easy. Yeah, watch that coil. Watch the coil. Okay. Get Papa over there. Yeah. Papa Bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Well, this is the compressor in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Three, Hold on, so get... okay ready? Three, two, two one. one. Good? Yep. Yeah. Alright. 
Yeah, that's what I was saying. We could probably just okay. do the tilty back. Yeah, let me uh, hold on a second, Kurt. You got yep, this? I, I got I'm gonna her. slide it my way just a touch. Okay, you're still lined up? Lined up in the front. What I was thinking was pin this front. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. And she won't go side to side with the bracket. Okay. Oh. All right. Let me uh, get one of these started. Okay. All right. This is day two of three. We got this. Corey got all that done. That's a nice bend. Everything's geometrically. It looks very nice. Uh, all, all of our head units inside are done. Got those done yesterday, but everything's done. We got all of our line set spaghettied here. Got that big Bertha up there. It was like 250 pounds. She's a, she's a big girl. So tomorrow we'll finish doing all the line sets and um, bringing them back around in here, tighten them up, start purging nitro and uh evacuation on this unit and then i'm gonna finish up the the bosch and the armstrong furnace uh tomorrow and then, like i said that'll be on another video but uh things are coming together i bid this job for three days and i think we'll be spot on on that so we'll see you in the morning all right day three well, I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to get the line sets all ran, get the wiring done, and I'll show you what's going on. So I'm basically going to slide this on, put this little stop on. Just like that. one hand just like that slides off and that is a perfect flare very, very cool. Perfect flare. I use this nylog to put on my Basically, you just put this nylog and you just run it a little bit on the beveled part here of the flare, and that helps make a good seal. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of it, just a little bit. Just put it on that flare portion right there. thing that I forgot on this job is my torque wrench. I know they require these to be torqued a certain spec. I'm just going to kind of get it tight and then give it a one to two oogas. He's building metal if you can not hear that. It's 
here, the, the mini splits usually take these 5 sixteenths um, Schrader valve removal tools. This is actually uh, new for me because normally on the mini splits that I've installed in the past, it's, the, the things have been over here on the side. So it's been a minute since I've installed a Fujitsu, at least a three years, two years, anything this this big. So this was a surprise to me, and it was very nice to see because typically the these openings were over here, and you couldn't barely you could barely get one of these in here to do this. So this is like a big manifold. And um, so everything's here just like a regular air conditioner, which is nice. Got my Refco PSI meter. I'm going to put some in here. I think I'm going to do about 150 PSI to start and let it set. So about 156. I'm going to let it sit there for about 10 minutes and see where it is. Make sure we don't have any leaks. And I got my big blue hose on this one. One hose. Got my blue vac pro on this T here. That's open. Turn the ballast on, kick it on. So this here, the setup's basically pulling down all three heads at the same time. This is your main manifold here. Once I get this all dialed in, then I'll start the electrical wiring process. Once that reaches down to 1,000, I'll shut the gas ballast off and then let it run for a while. All right, just uh, doing a decay test and it's been running for a minute. Hopefully it'll pass. It should tell me. All right. So before I take this off, <clears throat> put my Schrader cord back in. basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack this open and as I crack this open it starts releasing the charge and I'm taking this off at the same time so I don't put too much refrigerant into this but you can put a little bit in there just like that and then I'll open this up it's going to have some pressure in it Close this, take this off, and then slowly open that up. That way if that is a mishap, you catch it before you open unscrew this. But we're good there. I'll go ahead and open these two up and then we'll start on the electric. Okay, so here I'm uh using the fork connectors for the electrical so they got a good connection down here and this basically corresponds to what was upstairs in the units um, 
so the black is your black and white are your L1, L2, and your three is your communicating wire. All right, got all my connections done for my head units. Electrician's actually gonna wire this up. I decided to pull everything out and then he's gonna mount the box. He's gotta run his wire up through here and then over the end of the attic and then hit the panel upstairs. So this, my portion's done and I'll have to come back and fire it up. All right, so there's our final runs. Corey did a great job running those. Drain comes down there and it's wrapped over there. Nice bends. Every turn, everything turned out great. Nice and symmetrical. And then we're waiting on the, we're going to be waiting on the electrician to wire everything up. Then I'll be by to fire this thing up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you got any value or learned anything on this, smash that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. If you see anything in here that could have been done differently, leave it in the comment section below. I'm always open for constructive criticism. Not criticism, but constructive. I'm okay with that. But yeah, if you see something in here that you would have done different, let me know. Leave it in the comment section below, or you can email me at advanhvac at gmail.com. I really hope you enjoyed this, and if you stayed this far, thank you for your support and watching these videos. I'll keep making them more as long as you give me the proper feedback. God bless, stay safe, and hug your kids.